Today we're going to look into is ZRAM worth using on Gen 2 or is Swap better? Now, I see the benefit of ZRAM on a normal desktop, but I'm not 100% sure if it's good on Gen 2, so what better way than just to test it, as they say, don't assume, no. So, first of all, let's get ZRAM working, let's do. That's uh, now done. Um, not perfect, but it's the best machine, so it don't matter. The machine we're using is a four thread machine with four gigabytes of RAM, and we're testing with two gigs of swap. So what we're gonna do first is emerge a program, first of all, with it on, we get the time, and then we'll try it without. So to start, let's do a small package. Um, for a small package, I like to use Nano. This is when you find out, embarrassingly, you uh, didn't do an eMerge sync beforehand. Just ignore that. Cheers. And then we do QLOP. Yeah. No, no. 36 seconds with it on. Let's try it with it off. So swap off. No, no. Uh, no, no, on the brain. Let's confirm. Yep, swaps off. Any different with a small package. Twenty-seven seconds. I wonder if it is including the downloads on that. Let's make this a fair test and do swap on. No, no, it's still slower. Let's give it a real test, though. Let's try. Uh, if GCC, like GCC is my go-to package for a nice nice program that tests stuff you know uh, because we learned that download time is included let's fetch it first okay so let's do the same test again but with GCC this time all right then let's take a look at how this got on so QLOP GCC. Now, oh, okay, so ZROP, Z swap, Z, Z RAM even is slower. So my theory about it is it. I mean, it's not much in it. We are only talking about a little bit, but yeah, it definitely doesn't do what people think it does, does it? I wonder if we turned swap into a uh, into a smaller version. Let's say. 256 megabytes and then we make a little fast cache area for Z, um, Z RAM. Would that be faster? Let's try that. So we do nano slash etc local D. Right, so let's change that to 256. And then sort on. Okay, so now we've got 256 megabytes of Z RAM, just a little bit of fast memory, and then we've got the hard drive on top as well. Let's give that a test. So that's all done. Let's run that QLOP and see how this one. <laughs> so, using a fast cache device has lowered it down to 54 minutes. So that is the fastest way to use it. So, let's recap what we've learned today. Using a big Z RAM 
slows it down, not by loads. But using a tiny little, little fast swap is faster. And definitely different to what we've been told by everyone on the internet. Let me set you some homework. Let's make this a bit more of a, a fun challenge. I've used a SATA free SSD for this. I wonder how these results would differ if we use something slower like an, a Raspberry Pi or something else sort of around that sort of that sort of thing you know like the old laptops of an e EMMC storage device I'd be really interested in to learn so why don't you try these tests out yourself and just pop down in the comments what you find I'll uh, I'd be really interested to find out but yeah I think that's uh, everything for today folks keep compiling so it's clear I have a gentoo addiction if you want to help enable me and in exchange make interesting videos for you why not consider being like these wonderful people and donating to me um, prices start at one dollar and it helps me to do tasks such as these please consider um, clicking on the patreon link to find out more cheers guys